McGrady with the rebound. T-Mac was red hot in the first half last night against Miami. Cooled off a little in the second. Nobody picked up Yao Ming. The high pick and roll with T-Mac and Yao. The Hornets double T-Mac. No one rotated to Yao. He was wide open underneath the basket. That's a defensive breakdown right there. Scola clears it out. Both teams four for eight from the field for 50%. T-Mac with his first good look, and he hits. Tracy McGrady was out a couple of hours before tonight's game, shooting for about 30 minutes. He doesn't normally do that and hasn't during his career until the last three games, and he says that's going to be a part now of his pregame preparation. Pockets up by two. McGrady makes it five. Tracy McGrady. What do you think about the pregame warming up now that he's doing? I like it. I like it. And, you know, T-Mac has never come out before a game early to shoot. And maybe when he was younger, he didn't need to. But as he gets older, his body gets stiffer, and he needs some time to warm up. I like that change in his routine. Boy, good job by Batty A covering up Stojakovic. So the Rockets have been very efficient this game so far. T-Mac to the right, and he missed it. Oh, he, yeah. not, he thought he got fouled. He's yeah. not going to get it. He better get back on defense to Yakovic wide open. And he's gotten away with the walk. 19-17, Houston McGrady gets wow. a step. He's fouled. A basket will not go. But T-Mac will go to the line to shoot two. And that's why T-Mac needs to attack the basket because when, when he gets just past his defender, just enough past any contact then is a foul. Before the game tonight, he said another one of the reasons why he was coming out early, getting warmed up, his team was becoming more athletic and they were leaving him behind. He said that not, not jesting about it. He said that I need to start being more aggressive and match my teammates. And that was uh, pretty insightful on his part. Huh? Well, I think it's uh, the only way you can make a change is if you admit it. And I think T-Mac admitting that, that he needs to, to pick up his pace a little bit, shows that he's been watching film, his coaches have been working with him, and he sees where his team is headed, and he wants to be a part of it. Leave Peja, so the best, the, the best option is to give Chris Paul that shot. T-Mac for two, coming off a pick. Tracy really looks like he's getting good elevation early on his jump shot. Yeah, a lot of superstars will come out and use the game to get loose, but not like we're talking about. T-Mac is loose before the game starts. I like that. Yeah, I made him change his shot. Here's T-Mac running the car. Tracy McGrady all the way to the basket. Oh, man. That was vintage McGrady. Looks like he got a tune-up, got a few extra horsepower, and was able to turn it on there. That was McGrady from a couple of years ago has exploded, and I mean exploded, for 10 points. Watch this move to the bucket. Gets it right back. He's got Ryan Bowen on him. Beautiful jump shot by McGrady. Boy, he looks... He looks vintage McGrady tonight. You see the Hornets are trying everybody on Tracy McGrady. They're, now they've got Ryan Bowen out basket. Cross court, nice pass to Landry who slams it home and one. The Boilermaker. Carl and the rim Landry. shaker right there. <laughs> and the back breaker. Wow. And to make that look like it's an acre. <laughs> See, the Rockets players are looking for Carl Landry because they know he's going to finish it. He had just attacks that rim. So the more he finishes like that, the more his teammates foot for him. He's got that circle going the right direction. Three-point play the old-fashioned way for Landry. He has five. He's the only Rocket to score off the bench right now. T-Mac back in the game, puts it up and in, and the Rockets getting whatever they want. 45-29. Under a minute left to play in the game. Alley up to T-Mac, and he's fouled by Morris Peterson. That's a set play right there. That's just eye contact between T-Mac and Rafer. And uh, T-Mac just rolls out of there and goes to the basket. Rafer knows he's going to do it, so he throws it up there. That's eye contact between those two players. And Rafer, he's one of the one of the better alley -oop passers in this league. One of the reasons why you know that Tracy's feeling so much better, they haven't run that for him in a long time because he just hasn't been able to get up on that knee. 
but it's obvious now that he's feeling the best he's felt all season. And now Chuck Hayes will come in for Yao Ming, who has two fouls. Scola's on the bench with three. Tracy will have one more. Got them both. Defense to create offensive opportunities. The Rockets have seven fast break points in the first half, which is kind of out of character for them. But T-Mac came out early tonight, got warmed up, and they really showed in the first half. He was really rolling this dunk right here, got things really, uh, really juiced up. That elevation on that post move. T-Mac had an X. And then you come here to New Orleans and you kind of get to a break with, with Starakovich. T-Mac keeps it going as he hits. And that's 18 points, the biggest lead of the game for Houston. I ate there every day. Look, <laughs> Brady, <laughs> T-Mac, down to Battier for the layup. Boy, the Rockets are like a well-oiled machine. T-Mac gets a fake on Butler, takes it to the basket, missed it, tipped it in by Landry. I think that was oh, T-Mac. Yeah. I'm sorry, T-Mac. Get, getting his own layup. Chris Paul knocked away by Alston. Paul has it inside to West. Over Yao, and Yao with the block. I was never in doubt. I was just shooting it. T-Mac to the rack for two more. Tracy McGrady. Telling you, folks, he has taken his game up to championship level here tonight. And a little rusty coming back in his first game against Cleveland, but the last two games he's been very, very good. T-Mac to the rack again. Count it. And one. He draws the foul, and Tracy McGrady has taken over this game. Well, not only is he taking the ball to the basket, but he's taking it very, very strong, and he's explosive. Here's the one before as he hangs in the air and makes it, and now he goes baseline here, and look at that, just power move, taking it through the defender for the and one. Oh, Carl Landry, Landry took Landry a shot took to the face. Yes, he did. And he's passing the ball around to his teammates, but his teammates are not putting it in the basket. So Chris Paul at some point is going to have to McGrady. take over. Tracy McGrady with another 17-footer, 24 points for T-Mac. And the Rockets with a 23-point lead again. T-Mac has really found a nice rhythm to his game. West with a miss and Yao with a rebound. T-Max found a, a, a way to keep his teammates involved, but yet he's still scoring at a very high level. McGrady with the hammer! T-Mac with a three! And the Rockets with a 26-point lead! Oh my goodness! Bad foul. See, T-Mac just coming down. He knows he's feeling it. He knows he's got some space. He just raises up and dra drains that three-point shot. Look at his eyes. He knows it. He knows he's got it rolling. Saves it over to Yao Ming. The next time these two get together is in Houston on March the 8th. Oh. And T-Mac has just been on fire tonight. 13 of 24 for Tracy. 31 points for McGrady. With his veterans, but we'll see. No, I think his veterans are done. McGrady Oof. hits a three. Yeah, and it's time for T-Mac to be done as well. Tracy, see. Yeah, Tracy says, where's that coffin? Love how they're constantly in the game, and, and Yao and Dikembe were standing up, and there's our man T-Mac. Time to look at tonight's Gatorade endurance player, and it's Tracy McGrady. 41 minutes for T-Mac tonight. 34 points and 6 assists in 41 minutes. And boy, when he got the Rockets off to a great start. That There was the look, the body language. He really took this game right to the Hornets tonight. I expected the Rockets to win, but not by that margin, Mac. And uh, you have been so hot lately. Everybody's been talking about the Lakers. They've been talking about Phoenix, San Antonio, and Dallas, and all those blockbuster deals. And I think tonight you guys said, hey, look at us. No, we just want to keep going, man. Just keep it rolling. Uh, we don't worry about you know, all the attention that the other teams are getting. We just got to take care of our business. And uh, each game uh, from this point on is it, it's really pivotal. And we understand tonight this was a team that was ahead of us. And uh, we just wanted to come out and we wanted to attack. We had a great uh, game plan.
Well, I think if you take a look at the upcoming schedule uh, for the Rockets, we've got the Bulls, the Wizards, the Grizzlies, and then uh, Denver, and then Indiana coming into Toyota Center. So there's five more games there, home games that uh, look like look like victories. I, uh, we just want to concentrate on Chicago, man. You know, that's yeah. that's our main focus. Uh, we know that the five-game uh, home set is, is real big for us to, to really uh, make history, and uh, we understand that. But, you know, right now I think we're going to take one game at a time because, you know, it's, it's really Real crucial for us right now. Mac, uh, I'm kind of a T-Mac expert. I've been watching you for a while, and I, I saw that look on your face tonight, <laughs> and, and that extra zip in your step. That move you made to the basket on the slam dunk, I went, uh-oh, he's back. Well, what it was is uh, I understand the importance of this game, and uh, you know, I didn't want to let my team down come out lethargic. I wanted to come out and set a tone right away, and uh, once I got off to a good start, my teammates follow me, and that's what we need, especially on the road against a tough team. Yeah, and you know, also uh, getting the team off to a good start, that's one thing. But your defense tonight, uh, everybody for the Rockets, they only had 11 points in the second quarter. Well, that's one of our main focus. You know, everybody talk about, you know, Rick Adelman being a great defensive, uh, offensive uh, coach and, and his system and everything. But, you know, this this 11 game road uh, win while we've been winning is, uh, you know, real pivotal to our, I mean, our success. Uh, we've been playing great defense. We've been holding opponents under, you know, 90 points, uh, field goal percentage has been down. We've been getting after it. And we know that's what it's going to take for us to be successful in this league. Yeah, this game, to me, felt like a, uh, a playoff-type atmosphere. It came out, was very physical to start. Uh, Rafer and Chandler got into some words, and it seemed like you guys really took, were up to the challenge. Well, it got a little heated, and, <laughs> uh, you know, we, we fought back. You know, we wanted to be the guys that hit back and kept kept keep punching uh, throughout the course of the game. And, uh, you know, this team knows as well that, you know, we, on the t we was on a 10-game uh, win streak and they know that we we're going to come out and we we're going to you know give them our all and you know it, yeah like you say it was a playoff atmosphere and that's what we that's what we love you we know the Scola keeps learning every week he's getting better you knew that but Landry has come out of the bullpen that's my guy I mean uh, is I that your him. guy I love him oh man he I, is I, just tougher than nails I, I love him man the, the guy comes in and he plays so hard he really don't play like a rookie you know uh, you, you throw him into to the wolves and uh, he responds let me ask you one other question now you told me tonight before the game I saw you shooting mm -hmm. out here early and mm -hmm. I hadn't seen you do that much in your career but you've done it the last three games is that going to be part of your preparation from now on out it, it really is I want to really set a good example uh, for my teammates and let them know that how focused I am and, and how um, you know much I, I really want to win and uh, I, I just hope that rubs off on them guys and you know we, we do this together um, I really want to get my game to the highest level as possible and, and those guys follow me you're the leader yeah it really seems like team chemistry is there. I mean, it starts with the, with the, from the top, but the team chemistry is very good. It is, man. This is one of the better teams that I've been on as far as on the court and, and in the locker room. I mean, we have great voices in the locker room. We have great teammates. Uh, everybody respects one another, and, and, you know, the team chemistry is one of the best. Keep it going, Mac. Uh, this is uh, really an exciting run you're on right now and, and, a, and a chance to do some great things. No one's looking at you right We're now. We're going to try, man. I, I tell my guys all the time, never get tired of uh, winning. <laughs> I know it. All right, get in there and get a shower. We'll get back.